to the 20150. North Beverly Hills, 90210. Now it's Patty at 20150. Roll strong. Roll strong, my friends. Where I'm taking y'all is uh, up this hill. Pretty good little hump up the hill. I recommend you take a motorbike. You're bicycling, it's a rough ride up this hill. Might as well just push your bicycle. And you gotta drop her down at the low gear. So come up to the top. Before I go exploring here, just give you a look around. And folks, it is a windy day. I'm shooting with my wireless mics. I got a wind muff, windscreen on them, whatever you want to call it. But look at this view of Patia, Thailand. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And where I'm going is right here. That little view right there where they're sitting. It's a coffee shop. Now they used to have the, the band right here, but it looks like what they've done is extended the uh, seating area which was smart because they were always crowded and they've moved the van behind me but the van used to be right here huh. but this is the coolest little coffee shop in patio got some little areas right here for the kids to play and you you got some great coffee and a beautiful view and this is the coffee shop right here out of that volkswagen van Chino Yin, a little Thai milk tea. Just put your order in and pay and they'll bring it over to the table. I'll check their hours, but they used to open at like nine. They, it's a coffee shop, but they don't open early. They're not early risers. And they got food, snacks. A cappuccino crap. Ooh, well this looks good right here. Caramel macchiato. You tell me how you can beat this view. If you can beat this view, I want to see it. So this comes with a little brown sugar. Oh, they got all the all the packets in here. I like to put a little brown sugar in my cappuccino. Yeah, it's sweet enough, but. A little brown sugar never hurt nobody. <laughs> oh my God. Am I gonna get this video uh, demonetized? So I'm talking about brown sugar. That happened to me one time before. Folks, what I was gonna, I was gonna tell you, another one of my patio videos just got uh, flagged for limited ads. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I, maybe I understand that one. I rode up and down on Soy Bacow. Oh, now I said it. Now I'll probably get this one flagged. Maybe I edit out that word. I don't know. You know, riding up and down the street in a public place on a public highway, limited ads due to adult content. Come on. I mean, I can understand if I sit there on Soy 6 for like three hours. Okay. But taking a drive down Soy... Oh, that's heaven. I'm gonna tell you right now. That is heaven. That is just as good, even better. as the last time I came here. I mean, obviously, if you live here, you know about this place probably. But if you're coming here as a one week millionaire, make sure you come up here. Make sure you come up here where you can really appreciate the view of Patia. Great coffee for 35 baht. What's sad to me, I mean, I don't tell people what to do, it's your life, but I see all these people sitting down there in Starbucks. Sitting down there in Starbucks, my gosh, how much is a Starbucks coffee these days? You gotta like take out a loan, right? And like from where I'm sitting, I can't see that close, but I, there's multiple Starbucks 
right where I'm looking. Why would you want to go down there to Starbucks and pay all that huge money for a corporate powdered coffee, whatever they got going on, I don't know. When you can come up here, 35 by. Y'all see the stress I'm under, my friends? Almost unbearable. One more look around while well, I got this thing locked off on a tripod. Even though the wind is blowing the damn tripod. How can you not love this little spot? Beautiful lady there playing on the Facebook. <laughs> These little boys over there having such a good time. Can't wait to bring little Forrest G and Maria here. <laughs> He's a cute, cute little dude. This little boy loves this windmill right here. He's trying to get to it. Forrest G be doing the same thing. The folks, these areas up here are uh, religious areas, and so there's a sign right there. You know, no no bathing suits. There's no dogs, food, no smoking. So I respect it as such. All right. So those those are the posted hours: 7:30 a.m., 7 p.m. And we're gonna hear a lot of firecrackers going off. This young lady's got a big string of fireworks. She's excited. Oh my goodness, they all got firecrackers. It's gonna get loud. Đấy làm clip mọi người. Anh anh đứng đầu. So this is the fireworks area here. Just walk down the stairs and light them right in these uh, these structures. Not sure what the gentleman is doing. Oh, he got a big long string. He's tying him to the rail over there. Getting creative. <laughs> get medieval on him. Hey, that's a radio station right there. 104.75. And then you got gentlemen walking around taking photos. So on your way out, look right here and see if they took your photo. You get a souvenir photo, 150 baht. And 
they got some gift shops right here on the way out. By a bus rolling through. And then you have a temple area up top here. Old dog chilling. Hey folks, I want to thank y'all for joining me on this portion of the video. Just chilling out up here. Great cappuccino, great cup of coffee. It is a windy, windy, cool day. My goodness, it's like free air conditioning. I'll say it in every video, if you're thinking about taking a trip to Thailand, do it now. Do it right now. The weather is beautiful. Um, you're still not dealing with the, the numbers of tourists, obviously, as before. If you're going to come to Thailand, do it now. Six months, one year, it's going to be back to the crowds, the tour buses. So I'm just saying, right now is a wonderful time. If you're planning on going to Thailand next year, you're wrong. You should come now. Not in two years, come right now, you'll be glad you did, okay? Don't say it and give you the best advice. And so going down, there is a nice walkway. It's uh, obviously not too hard to go down, but it's, it's tough walking up this hill, to be honest with you. See, I told you, if you're going to bring a bicycle up here, you're going to end up pushing it like this gentleman. It's just too steep. I recommend you push it on the way down, too. Gravity is going to take you at about 100 miles an hour by the time you get to the bottom. Here's looking back up the hill. And they got some bus parking down here. Drinks and toilets. Look, a lot of these toilets you'll see here, they're... they're they're five by or what have you. But the difference, you go in these toilets, folks are clean. If you have to pay, they're clean, they got soap, they're a proper toilet. Now right ahead of me, that little gym right there, I mean, it looks like it's still in operation. But at one point, that was one of the most popular gyms. You'd come by right there, it looked like Muscle Beach, California. You right there got a proper touring machine that's where it just took you the statue of Admiral Prince, and I'm not even going to try to say the name. And then this is the monument with the Royal Thai Navy Broadcasting Station. And right there's where I just came from. It's a one way, so the entrance is to the left of the sign right there. But like I said, this is like the equivalent of uh, California's Muscle Beach. Everybody comes out here, open air, right here, traffic going by. There you go. You want to train? Come on over. All right, so what I've done is cross the street. And this is what they call the Big Buddha. And I'm probably going to take you there on another day. And then we'll just cut through this little park area here. Except for exercise, it's closed from 4P to 7P. So that's exercise time. I certainly hope this FX3 does this some justice. It's so beautiful through here, listening to the birds, cool breeze coming through. And folks here in Thailand, especially Pattaya, there's always some type of event going on. It's a fun run coming up, 5K and 10K. And see all along here, you've got pull-up bars, all kind of exercise stations, great place to, uh, you know, walk with the kids, no traffic. Push a stroller. Patty at Tourist Police Station 4. Got this gentleman uh, doing some lifting. Not sure if that's a piece of concrete or telephone pole. Another bus parking area. A little 
boy in the back with his dad going to work. So cute. All right, now I'm looking in the direction of Bali High Pier, where that big uh, abandoned construction project is. That's Bali High Pier right there. Now, I'm gonna take you down there, but they put in some basketball courts, which is shaded, fenced in. All right, so six to nine. It's basically two half courts. The gentleman in the bar over there, he's shooting back that direction. But what a great use of the space here underneath the bridge and there's a gentleman back herding across Southeast Asia backpacks too big brother that's not backpacking that's back herding my friend all right I hate to call you out man but look at that backpack now the young lady's got one appropriate size but that young man imagine how bad he's hurting walking up this hill with that huge uh, Mount Everest type backpack. You, you don't need that, man. Get rid of that. I'm going to pause for a second. Listen to how quiet Patia is. Pause for a second. Show you this. It's called Easy Cart. Little go kart track out here. And you know what? As many years as I've lived here, I don't think I've ever rode these go karts. If me and the crew did, I don't remember it. That's all I'll say. Folks, I'm not gonna make any comments about this building because I don't really, I'm just not gonna comment about it. All I'm gonna say is that, yeah, you can buy a condo cheaper off plan, but this is a perfect example of the risk of buying uh, any type of condo off plan. In other words, you buy it before it's built. Okay, so you got two seaters. This gentleman right here has got his, uh, I believe that's his daughter. Got a helmet on, so I can't tell if it's a young man or a young girl, but looks like you can ride with the kids. I'd love to bring Maria Mercedes, a Force G here. a.m. to zero one. You want to talk about marketing? This is probably some of the greatest marketing right here. <laughs> they got that dude on that cart riding around. If that don't make you think about coming to ride and riding go-karts, I don't know what is. Genius marketing, putting that dude up there. So the beginner track is 350 meters and then the other track is 800 meters. So you got to be 15 to get the uh, adult track. Okay, so 499 baht, kids 449, one adult and one kid 499. Got drinks, snacks, full tables for anybody who's not participating in the race. So it's eight minute race, 1200 baht, 1199, four races, 1799. There you go, that's your, uh, that's your prices. Yeah, look at this, got a place over there for photos for the winners. Like I said, you got snacks, beautiful place. Old dog chilling out over there. What's up there, puppy? I'm not going to disturb you, buddy. All right, so this is a look at the kids' track. So the go-karts go a little bit slower. And you can get the two-seater if you want to ride with your younger child. I would just love for that to be me and Forrest G right now, or me and Maria. My goodness, I gotta get these kids here. I'm gonna conclude this little early morning walking tour. Thanks for joining me. And just for any photography folks, I'm shooting on a Sony FX3. It's down to about 2%. I kept this camera on the entire time, except for maybe 
No, it's been on the entire time. Yeah, I did leave it on the entire time because if I shut it off, then the, the audio thing will go off. So this thing has been on the entire time. No thermal shutdown, no heat warning. So I just went through one battery. Now I did go through one wireless mic. So it's charging in the backpack. I got two, just swap them out of the case. Anyhow, Sony FX3, the 1.4, 35 millimeter G Master. Shot this whole video this morning on one battery. It's starting to get hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the crib, chop this video. So thanks for joining me on this little low key tour of Patia on a, yeah, some Monday morning. If you're not a subscriber, hit that Overstay Road sign. Get on board my train. I'll say thanks to all 44,000 plus of you fine folks who subscribe, watch my show, and listen to my voice. I'll see y'all on the next one. But right now, all I'm doing is thinking about taking my kids around that track right there. Uh, that would be too cool. All right, folks, I'll see y'all on the next one. And peace out. What am I down to? 1%. Perfect timing. Peace out, I'm out of here. And this dude's a staff member. Well, his shirt says staff, but he's going so fast, he's like drifting around the corners. Look at this dude. Machine. Man, he's going so fast, it's hard for me to follow him. Look at this dude. Look, too fast, too furious. Rick Eraser right there. That dude drifting all the way around that curve. I think that's what it's called. Hell red, we call it squealing tires.